I've been gone for a very long time, and words can describe how much I've been looking forward to this moment. I think if somebody were to play these songs to me five years ago and say that it's me who's singing them, I, I don't think I would believe them, man, you know? This album is everything I ever wanted it to be. So while I was away, um, I did a couple shows and they were amazing, but mostly I just wrote, we did songwriting camps in Bosnia. We did one here. Uh, we did two in Austria and one in Nashville. And um, had the time of my life. It's been great. And now finally, uh, we get to release all the stuff and uh, start the tour rehearsals. Today is the uh, 24th of uh, January and uh, we're on our way to the Boys Don't Cry music video set, baby. Uh, which, uh, after so long, is quite exciting. So long, time's up. You told me I would be alright. You think boys don't cry So I'll keep waiting For the world to say it Until then, I'm sure I'm fine Before this concept, there, were, there, there was plenty of different ideas as well But uh, we kind of agreed that, you know It would be great to show Mickey um, in an environment where he's working so we wanted to do it in a different setting so in a big hall um, and really embrace the industrial feel with the construction and also Mickey uses LEDs in um, all of his performances so we wanted to really utilize that idea yeah, and this is this is what came in the end I mean we've been working on this music video for about two months now and, and this is the final and yeah so far it's great the LEDs are really essential to the show, especially to me. I like to program them myself because you know exactly all the little tensions you have created in the song. And I want the LEDs to emphasize that. I like for the people to hear the music through their eyes. It's definitely the biggest music video we have done so far. There's 70 people on set. Um, Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous about the choreo because we only had four hours to do it, but um, the choreographer, um, Vahe, he's super cool. Uh, it's the first time that we're working together and we really clicked. From the first moment, I knew that we're gonna, that we're gonna understand each other because I felt that he got a soft spot for Michael Jackson, which, which is the same soft spot I got. So. I knew that we we're gonna click. To pull short some part of the dance could be better. We're just about to wrap the second chorus right now, which is the one that we started with. And um, now we're doing the scene for the very last chorus on this set. You don't like you don't like the set again? No, the low mode here. I done you spinning around and everything. I just I told Philip to put it onto a handheld. Can you just be more yeah. like into the camera? Yeah, absolutely. Da, 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 da. And Philip, Philip is gonna try to catch that, yeah? Okay, okay. Actor! I have to say we, uh, we did get creative. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say, but I've never used a cherry picker as the, uh, as like a crane <laughs> on set. So standing with the steady cam on top of the cherry picker and coming down for that wide shot. Sheesh, sheesh, the flowers are coming. Yeah. Also the construction going down. I think that's gonna be okay. like, key visual. Going fine. It's um, much better than I expected. 
Um, I'm starting to feel the legs a little bit, but you know, we're pushing through. I'm gonna have this um, chicken with um, potato uh, puree. And now, finally, we're about to shoot the very beginning of the music video, you know, so. So it feels like the story is coming together now and um, I think we found the expression. He always tries um, to help out the best way he can and in this project he's helped out in so many ways and What's great is that I can feel that he's come to trust me. The next scene, when we go down with the construction, um, I think that's gonna kill it. It's gonna be the money shot, <laughs> which is nice. We're going outside. That's about like, I think five o'clock in the morning or something like that. So for the rain. So like, you know, that's, I, I think that's gonna be the worst. So right now we have the fire department. They came and um, they have a huge cistern now of water and um, they're gonna fucking rain it down right on me. And uh, I'm gonna be pretending to be euphoric and very ecstatic. I'm worried about his safety and just making sure that he's going to be okay. Uh, but he just really wants to do it, so I guess we're going to rain on him during this weather and hopefully we get the shot, so... <laughs> yeah? It's the middle of winter. It's uh, minus two degrees, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be great. Sorry, boy, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is what my doctor gave me. I'm supposed to like pop 15 of them before. And I was like, what is it? What, what is it gonna do to me? She was like, it's gonna keep you warm from inside. Right? So like <laughs> that and the heat guns are what's gonna, you know, hopefully um, keep me standing. And I'm super happy it's done and for sure it's the biggest one yet and I think that this is the kind of comeback that you know everybody's gonna love and and hopefully appreciate so so yeah I, I think we did a good job man I'm super excited <laughs>